Hi everyone! After my last shopping video that actually came in two parts and it's already on my channel, so if you are interested I'm leaving you link to those videos in the description box below. I think they are really great and there I showed you a lot, really a lot of things. Now it's an unboxing time. Yes, I will unbox thing, item I really really wanted from a longer time because for the first time I saw it in February this year, but before we'll make an unboxing, please don't forget to like this video and of course subscribe to my channel for more. As it is on my thumb, I got two LV shopping bags, but I purchased only one item. Here is a small gift I received from my CA, really really small. I don't know why he gave me separate bag for it. Look. It's on the bottom of the shopping bag. Okay, so inside... Look how beautifully packed it is. We have 10, 10 milliliters Stand samples from LV that you can actually get for free from Louis Vuitton. All you need to do is just ask CA. And the most funny part is the same is with champagne. All you need to do to get a champagne from LV is just to ask any CA because CA basically can't uh, refuse you a glass of champagne and it would be against company policy and I'm not mentioning about that without a reason because some time ago I watched a YouTube video, I think the name of YouTuber was Ma and she was, I don't know how to call it... Mm, teaching how to extol the glass of champagne from Louis Vuitton and guys all you need to do is just ask any CA that is working with you that day and without any problems they I mean they're quite obliged to give you champagne the same as free samples and it's nothing outstanding however my CA asked me if I want to get a ribbon if I want him to pack those samples and I said yes because basically I can't say no to Louis Vuitton it's a bit surprising because usually they are not packing samples like this but time of course i'm not complaining i'm just informing but guys now a proper unboxing and maybe you can guess what it is i think you can because i didn't show it in my two last shopping videos okay big moment Yes, yes, it's ready to wear. It is coming in 100% cotton dust bag that was made in China. Yes, I checked it. It was made in China. And structure of the cotton is the same like in uh, dust bag for our bags. And let me open the zipper. Okay. Of course, I got also a hanger that is plastic. It's not wooden hanger, but it was made from plastic. And... I know, it doesn't look Louis Vuitton and actually... I like it. It's very original. Exact name of this product is Sequined Flower Print Cropped Jacket and I need to show you this jacket in details because they are really glamorous. So first of all, look on the structure of the material. It's in 99% cotton and in 1% polyamide and in touch it's very similar to denim it's the same 
structure and thickness also look on the bottom we have lv logo in kind of laurel reef and also we have those velvet dots i think you can see them right so we have two buttons on the pockets and i just checked they're not only for decoration but we can use them we can open them and put something here and also here we have four buttons here but that's not all because we have also buttons here on the leaves and also on the back we have two i think you can see this one and here we have second I made it like this because I wanted to have it more figure hugging and more fitted and also if we are already on the back look what do we have here of course it's a leather accent it was made from leather but guys we can't omit this beautiful collar that was also made from velvet look at this so guys to me the sequin flower print is absolutely out of this world i mean to me maybe to you is not that special but i can assure you that for louis vuitton is um, you know it's not something you will typically find in Louis Vuitton and this is what my CA told me too. This is very unique print and it rather won't repeat so that's why I wanted to grab my piece and it was a lot from the first sight when I only saw it because for the first time I saw it in February this year. From that time I was deliberating about that jacket also, I was thinking about jeans because, as you can see, we also have two other items in it. There is a play suit and there are jeans. And in a perfect world, I would go for jeans because, to be honest, jeans is something I'm missing in my wardrobe. I have only one pair of jeans that, by the way, are also from Louis Vuitton but what discouraged me to LV jeans is uh, experience I had with my first pair and they had to go on Tyler Corrections three times because they were fitting on me terribly and as one of CA said He's not my CA, but I was speaking with him that day and he said that Louis Vuitton doesn't like to underline feminine shapes and uh, yes, this is the problem with Louis Vuitton. So my biggest problem was with the waist because uh, jeans were too big in the waist. I didn't want to repeat that experience. I didn't want to you know, have tyro corrections three times and finally receive my jeans after a few months because this is how it looked previously. Anyway, play suit is the most expensive and in my opinion it looks the worst. It looks a bit strange and I didn't want to even um, fit that play suit. It's not my style at all. Jeans are the least expensive. Uh, crop jacket is somewhere in the middle maybe you noticed when i was showing you that piece up close that i went for 34 and it's not my typical size in louis vuitton but i made that decision because i wanted to bend the rules a bit this um, crop jacket is a bit oversized and this is how we supposed to look in it just like the model and I don't like this look to me it's too big it's too oversized and it's not very charming so I knew I don't want to have this look that's why I went 
for smaller size. Thank God, sleeves are okay, they are not too short, and I can, <laughs> you know, I can fit in 34. Usually my size in Louis Vuitton is 36, so I didn't go for my standard size. And if you are considering this piece, I would also advise you to go one size um, smaller, unless you just love um, oversized looks and this is something you are looking for. So yes, go for your standard size. What's more, maybe you noticed that my piece was made in Italy and is nothing outstanding because a lot, I would even say majority of LV ready to wear is made in Italy. And also what we can read here, this is a uh, dry clean only guys it's not only dry clean only but as they wrote gentle and <laughs> dry clean only so yes here's the thing but what i love in it is the fact that we are getting a lot of velvet accents because i like velvet a lot not only on the collar but also on whole of the back. I love the look very, very much. Basically, I love everything. I love buttons and I love that is cropped. Maybe I don't like that much that is oversized, but as I said and as I did myself, we can bend the rules and we can just go for smaller size and eliminate this problem it's very original it's very spectacular it's not typical to lv it reminds me a lot of dior i also wanted to add that i'm very proud of myself because as i mentioned before for the first time i saw that piece in february yes and it caught my eyes immediately and I was thinking about it, I was deliberating because I'm not a type of impulsive buyer and I don't like fast shopping at all. It doesn't matter if it's Louis Vuitton, if it's Zara. No guys, never. I need to think all my purchases through and then I'm able to make a decision because basically I don't want and I don't need too many things in my wardrobe. I want to have compact wardrobe only with things I'm using and I'm enjoying and that's why I knew if I'm still thinking about that piece after two months Yes, this is a sign I can purchase it and it will be a good purchase, it will be a good decision and I won't regret it. Yes, otherwise, if after two months I would forget about it, I would change my mind about it, it would be a sign it's not for me and I should avoid it. So guys, this is all I wanted to tell you about my newest purchase. I think I covered everything and I didn't miss anything. I hope so. Yes, let me know in the comments how do you like it and maybe you are interested with that print too. I think it's very extraordinary. And guys, don't forget to like to this video and also subscribe to my channel because another shopping video, shopping vlog is coming. In that vlog, I will show you flight mode collection. Yes, so it's always worth to watch. Maybe not worth to purchase, but always worth to watch. As usual, I'm wishing you good morning, afternoon or evening and I will see you in the next video soon. Bye!